Hi, my name is Vanessa Chenekan. I'm the Acting General Manager of Community Development at City of Port Phillip. The community tells us that social justice is important to them and that council should play a key role in ensuring that the vulnerable and marginalised are cared and provided for. Economic, social and environmental changes to our growing community will challenge the very diversity and inclusivity of the City of Port Phillip that makes it such a special place for everyone who lives and works here. The council delivers community services to everyone in the community whether that's young families through maternal child health services, um, story time in our libraries, through to young people with music programs such as Yalakut Naji for young Indigenous musicians, through to aged care and uh, direct community service to people living at home so they can stay at home longer. We also support other agencies and organisations to deliver great programs within the City of Port Phillip, whether that's our arts organisations um, such as Gasworks Theatre and Linden Art Gallery. Council recognises that homelessness and housing affordability, particularly rental accommodation, are major issues for our community and seek to address this impact across a range of approaches that include advocacy to government, and agencies, as well as services to those affected, such as referrals to agencies and support. Social justice is in the DNA of the City of Port Phillip. We have a long and proud tradition of caring and valuing all members of our community, whether they are vulnerable or marginalised. The health and well-being of our community is dependent on having an accessible and welcoming place and space for everyone, whether they are working, living or visiting the City of Port Phillip. This is built on a philosophy of universal access for all. We pride ourselves on universality of access to our programs and services. And as we face rate capping and a growing community and government cuts to funding, we may need to think about what universality means. Are we going to prioritise our services and programs for those in need? Or can we continue to offer programs to everyone in the community? Our challenge is how we reconcile this with the core values of our communities that we reflect. We care for each other and value a universal approach to services, that is, access for all, particularly for the vulnerable. There's the opportunity for local government to be in a very innovative space with the national reform agendas that are currently underway. This includes the National Disability Insurance Scheme and age sector reform. As clients and participants in those programs have the opportunity to choose the programs and the providers that they want to work with, more and more they're going to be looking for accessible spaces and places where they can be with their carers and providers of those services. So to sum up, if you think about a diverse and inclusive city of Port Phillip, what does that look like? And who in the community would you like us to be prioritising and thinking about in our planning?